hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is one that you guys have requested you guys have asked me to make a video on how to calculate your ovulation without using any of those ovulation apps i always talk about on my channel so today i'm using the calendar method i'm going to show you guys how to calculate your fertile window and your ovulation so that if you are trying to conceive you'll find it very easy also if you're trying to avoid getting pregnant i'm also going to show you how to calculate your safe day so that on those days you can freely have sex with your partner unprotected sex and have no fear of getting pregnant if you're new to my channel you're very welcome here my name is Nosa I'm a mom of three and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos I would really love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube family and hopefully you find this video helpful Okay, we are using the calendar method to calculate ovulation today so i have my calendar drawn out here i'm using the month of august you can do the same thing you can get a board like this and you know draw out some numbers and lines like a calendar or you can use a notebook or you can use an actual calendar you know use it to calculate your fertile window and your ovulation every cycle this method has helped us to conceive when we wanted to conceive and it has also helped us to avoid pregnancy when we wanted to avoid pregnancy so it is a very uh, accurate method for whether you're trying to conceive or not trying to conceive okay so if you are trying to conceive the most important thing you want to know is your fertile window because during your fertile window one of those days you are going to ovulate and by that i mean an egg will be released and you know if you if you have unprotected sex the egg can get fertilized and then you can conceive okay now how do you know your fertile window the first thing you want to know is the length of your cycle how long is your cycle i'm not talking about the number of days you bleed for no i'm talking about the first day you see your period to the day before you see your next period so some women can have 22 day cycle some women have 25 days some have 28 26 27 30 32 35 these are the lengths of of, of a woman's cycle and it is also possible that some women can have a 40 day cycle length or 19 day cycle length you know very short and very long cycle length those are some extreme cases that you know needs to be seen by a doctor so today we're going to we're going to try to stay around the the the, the range of 21 to 35 we're going to try to work with this cycle because these are considered as normal cycle lengths okay so this is how you calculate the length of your cycle so let's say my period started on the 3rd of august the first day i bleeded the first day i saw any blood was the 3rd of august i'm going to circle this now when you're calculating your cycle length forget about the number of days that you bleeded for that part is not important at all okay whether you saw it for three days five days six days we are not talking about that just mark the first day that you saw your period mark it on the calendar and then wait for your next period to come okay now let's say i saw my next period after this period has ended the cycle has ended i saw my next period on august 29th so we're going to circle 29th now this is the length of your cycle all these days and weeks these are the length or this is the length of your cycle so you know what we're going to do we're going to write some numbers on those days we're going to count those days starting from the first day of your period so 3rd of august will be one 4th of august will be two this is day two of the length of my cycle 5th of august will be three and just continue like that four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, now remember it says the day before your next period starts the day before your next period starts from the first day of your period to the day before your period starts so we're going to end on 28 which will be which will be 26 okay 25 26 i think i need to zoom in so that you guys can see 
So I stopped counting on the 28th of August because that is the day before my next period starts. My next period started on the 29th of August. So I stopped counting on the 28th of August. Okay, what does that mean? This means I have a 26 day cycle from the first day that my period started to the day before my next period started. The days in between are 26 and that means I have a 26 day cycle. 26 day cycle. I'm going to write it up here. 26. If you have a 26 day cycle, you're very lucky. We just started with you. Okay. Here's another thing that people find confusing. Some people think that because their period came on a particular date in one month, it's always going to come on that date every month. No, it doesn't work like that. My period came on the 3rd of August. It doesn't mean my period is going to come on the 3rd of September and 3rd of October and 3rd of November and 3rd of... No, your, my period is not always going to come on the 3rd of every month. The day your period comes depends on the length of your cycle. If you have a 26 day cycle, you're expecting your net period to come after 26 days. Okay. Okay. So that is how you calculate the length of your cycle. If you have a... Uh, 21 days, uh, 28 days, 35 days, 30 days. Use this same method to calculate, to do the calculation right now, okay? Okay, now that we know how to calculate the length of your cycle, the next thing you want to do is to find out when you are ovulating. When is your fertile window and when are you going to ovulate? And according to science, a woman's ovulation usually happens 14 days before her next period starts. 14 days before she starts bleeding again, okay? So I have a 26 day cycle. I'm going to write it here, 26. The next thing is to minus, subtract 14 from 26. 14 because that is the day that science say I will be ovulating. So 26 minus 14. The answer will be 12. 12. So day 12 will be my ovulation day. So what is day 12 here? Day 12 will be Monday, August 14. Monday, August 14 is day 12 of my cycle. And that's the day science is predicting that I will release an egg and if I, you know, have sex on that day, I can get pregnant. But guess what? Guess what? Sometimes ovulation can come early. Sometimes it can be delayed, just like your period. Sometimes your period comes early. Sometimes it comes late. That's, that's exactly the case with ovulation. If you are using ovulation tests to test for your ovulation, you can find the exact day that you're ovulating. But we are not doing that. We're using the calendar method. And you want to get pregnant. You don't want to miss your chance of getting pregnant. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to add two days to your predicted ov ovulation day and the two days after, okay? That sounds like a lot, so let's do the math right now. So day 12, day 12 is my predicted ovulation day. I'm going to add two days, the two days in front of it. So that will be plus two. And I'm also going to add the two days after it, the two days after day 12. And that will be plus another two, okay? So what did I just do here? I just added day 10 and day 11. So that means you can ovulate on day 10. You can ovulate on day 10 or day 11 or day 12, which is the day we have circled on our calendar, day 12 or day 13 and day 14. Okay. The two days in front of your predicted ovulation day and the two days after that day. Okay. Now put all those numbers together and that is your fertile window. Those are the days that you have the best chances or highest chances of conceiving if you are trying to conceive. So you want to mark these days on your calendar, okay? Do the math, write these days out and mark them on your calendar according to your cycle length, okay? If you have a 30-day cycle length, you know, the numbers here will be different. But this is an example. This is just an illustration. Within these five days, your body is most likely to release an egg and if you have unprotected sex, you can easily get pregnant. But hold on, hold on. This is not the end of your fertile window. These are not all the days that you can conceive. According to science, you can conceive even before your fertile window. Yes, it is possible because sperm can live in a woman's body from three to five days. So if you have unprotected sex before these five days, before your, your fertile window, 
you can get pregnant and that is especially for women who have short cycles maybe you have like a 21 day cycle 22 day cycle you can get pregnant even during you know while you're still bleeding your fertile window has already started while you are still bleeding it is very possible i've heard a lot of stories like that so that is why it is very important for you to know the full length of your fertile window of your fertile period so what we are going to do is to add another five days to the days we already have here so we are going to add five five days plus the already predicted fertile window and that will give you 10 days in a row so we stopped at 10 so i'm going to count from nine one two three four five i'm going to cycle all of these days in my calendar and mark it as my fertile window the full length of my fertile window day five to day 14 is the full length of my fertile my fertile window so this is how you find your fertile window okay for those of you women who are trying not to get pregnant, you're trying to avoid pregnancy and you're using the natural method as your contraceptive, then you want to play safe. You want to abstain from having unprotected sex five days before your predicted fertile window because according to science, you can get pregnant. The chances of you getting pregnant is there. Any day that is not within this fertile window, once you calculate your fertile window, you know your fertile window, circle it on your calendar. And any day that does not fall within that fertile window are your safe days. So during these days, you are free to have unprotected sex and you have minimal chances of conceiving, okay? Okay, guys, this is some bonus time. So I'm going to calculate ovulation for every cycle length. So we're going to start with 21, a 21 day cycle length. So you're going to say 21 minus 14. And I hope you know why we're using 14 because science says 14 days before your next period is when you are most likely to ovulate. So 21 minus 14 will be 7. So you can go ahead and cycle the 7 on your calendar as your predicted ovulation day. And then the next thing you do is to add the 2 days in front of the 7 and the 2 days after the 7. So that will be plus 2, plus 2. And those will be day 5 and 6, day 5 day six day seven your ovulation day day eight and day nine eight and nine so for a 21 day cycle day five six seven eight and nine will be your fertile window the days that you are most likely to conceive with day seven being your predicted ovulation day so once you get your fertile window you always want to add plus five you want to add another five days okay so for a 22 day cycle length, you want to minus 14 and that will give us 8. So 22 minus 14, we have 8. You're going to cycle 8, the 8 on your calendar as your ovulation day. And then you add the 2 days in front of uh, 8 and the 2 days after 8. By the way, 22 is another short cycle length. This is another woman that can get pregnant while she's on her period, okay? This is your fertile window. This is when you are most likely to release an egg and ovulate and get pregnant if you are trying to get pregnant. And then again, you want to add another five days because all of these days your body is fertile. Okay, cycle length for 25 days. We're going to skip to 25 days because you guys already know the math. Okay, so 25 minus 14, that will give us 11. So 11, day 11 will be your ovulation day. So add the two days in front of 11 and the two days after 11 and that will be your fertile window. And of course, you want to add five days where your body is also considered fertile. So this is the fertile window for, uh, for a 25 day cycle. Okay, let's go on to 27 days. So for a 27 day cycle, minus 14 and you get 13. And you want to cycle 13 as your ovulation day, your predicted ovulation. So day 13 is your predicted ovulation day. The two days in front of it are day 11 and 12. The two days after are 14 and 15. And this is your predicted fertile window. Go on to add five extra days. 
and that will give you the full length of your fertile window. All right, let's go on to calculate for 28 days. So 28 minus 14 is 14, and there is 14 right there. So you're going to cycle that on your calendar and write it out here. Two days in front of 14 will be 12, day 12 and day 13. The two days after will be 15 and 16. And this is the fertile window of a 28 day cycle length. And don't forget to add the five extra days just to cover, to make sure you are well covered, okay? So this is your fertile window for a 28 day cycle. Okay, next I'm gonna do for a 30 day cycle length. So for a 30 day cycle length, it will be 30 minus 14 and that will give us 16. So where is 16? 16 will be right here. You want to cycle that as your predicted ovulation day and then add the two days in front of 16. So right here we have 16 and then we're going to add day 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, my eight looks funny. So this is your fertile window for a 30 day cycle length. Don't forget to add five. Okay, okay, let's calculate for a 32 day cycle length 32 minus 14 and we will get 18 18 so where is the 18 right here? So The 18 is your ovulation the predicted ovulation day. So I'm going to write 18 here and Then add the two days in front of 18, which will be day 17 and 16 17 and 16 and the two days after 19 and 20 we're going to add five okay so to get the full cycle length okay the last one i'm going to do is for 35 days so if you have a 35 day cycle length you're going to minus 14 and you get 21 21 so this is the 21 and that will be your predicted ovulation day so we're going to write 21 here the two days in front of 21 will be day 19 and 20. We have 21, 22, and 23. Five extra days okay, to get the full length of your cycle. Yeah, so yeah guys, this is how you calculate your cycle, the length of your cycle, your fertile window, your ovulation, and of course your save days. This is how you do the math. And if we didn't calculate our ovulation for your cycle today, then I think you can do this at home by yourself. This is a very simple math to do. Just get a book, get a pen, draw out a calendar, and you know, start calculating. Watch this video over and over again and you know, you will see how easy it is to calculate. I hope you guys, you know, found this video helpful. If you did, then of course, give it a thumbs up. Drop all your comments down below. If you have any questions, if there's anything you're not clear about, anything that's making you confused, drop it down there. I will try to answer. And uh, share my videos, please. Share it with all your girlfriends. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It will mean so much to me. Thank you guys for always being here. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in my next one.